أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تنزيل العزيز الرحيم لتنذر قوما ما أنذر آباؤهم فهم غافلون صدق الله العظيم These are verses number 5 and 6 we've discussed verse 5 تنزيل العزيز الرحيم this Quran this Sirat al-Mustaqim is the revelation of Al-Aziz, Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, the Almighty, Ar-Rahim, and the Most Merciful. لِتُنْذِرَ قَوْمًا مَا أُنْذِرَ آبَاؤُهُمْ فَهُمْ غَافِلُونَ Why did Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala choose our Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to be the seal of Nubuwat? And why did Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala choose him for the revelation of this Qur'an? Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala describes this and Allah Ta'ala responds to this in a very, very unique way. لِتُنْذِرَ قَوْمًا So that you, O Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may warn a people, مَا أُنْذِرَ آبَاؤُهُمْ such a people whose forefathers were not warned, for whom غافلون, and therefore they were heedless. When we look at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's nubuwat, in comparison to the nubuwat of all the other anbiya alayhi salatu was salam, more especially the prophets of the Bani Israel, we will find the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was born into these people, this community of Makkah, Mukarramah. And they were such a people that the last Nabi of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala that set foot and was born into this region was Sayyiduna Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam and Sayyiduna Ismail alayhi salatu was salam. After them, there was no Nabi of Allah wa ta'ala that ever had come to the Arabian Peninsula, more especially Makkah Mukarramah. Now, when that happens, then we can understand what will be the condition and the situation of the people. We know that the Arabs had no perception of right and wrong. They did not have a perception of vice and virtue. They had good qualities. Some qualities were good. But then Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala actually wants to show us the task, the daunting task that our Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had and how Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then history based, fact, uh, based testimony to the fact that Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fulfilled the responsibility of nubuwat, of indar, of warning the people par excellence. This is that message that Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala wants to send down to each and every one of us as reciters of the Quran Sharif. So now, when we look at this ayat, and we look at the previous ayat, إِنَّكَ لَمِنَ الْمُرْسَلِينَ عَلَى صِرَاطٍ مُسْتَقِيمٍ And these are points that we ponder about when we're reading the Surah Yaseen every morning. That this is that Nabi that Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala sent to that community to whom no prophet had come, no nabi, no messenger had come, and how and what was the con what was the condition of these people? We hear it so often that even the Romans and the Persians did not want to rule upon them. They were regarded as non-humans. They were regarded as animals. But Allah Taala sent Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to this community, and then in a period of 23 years. What did Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam do? In a period of 23 years, not only did he reform them, not only did he give them the deen of Allah, not only did they bring iman, but then each one of them became reformers. Each one of them became guiding stars for the rest of mankind. The Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself had certified now that whichever of my sahaba, whichever of my sahabi you follow, whichever of my companion you follow, you will be truly guided because each one of them didn't only have the spark of iman, but each one of them had the potential of guiding others towards Allah wa ta'ala.
There is one other aspect to this tafsir of this ayah that we also should have knowledge about is that in the previous surah Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala said wa in min ummatin illa khala fiha nadhir that every community had a warner Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala didn't leave them without warners each community had somebody that had come to guide them and when we look at the historical details of the people of Makkah Mukarramah then we will find that there were such individuals and one example that was very close to the time of Nabi Karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam as a matter of fact his time had coincided with the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam his name was Zaid ibn Amr ibn Nufail the Zaid ibn Amr ibn Nufail he had come just before the time of Nabi Karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he had two missions the first mission was that he spoke very very vigorously to the people of Makkah about the fallacy of worshiping idols number 1 and number 2 sacrificing animals in the name of idols he tried very hard to stop them from all of that so there were these type of warners that had come this person Amar, uh, this person Zaid ibn Amr ibn Nufail he had come and he had lived till 5 years before the nubuwwat of our nabi karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam he had a son that was a sahabi of nabi alayhi salatu wassalam one of the ashara mubashshara saeed ibn zaid radiyallahu ta'ala anhu this saeed ibn zaid asked nabi karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam on one occasion ya rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam you know my father Zaid ibn Amr ibn Nufail you know his position in so far as tawhid was concerned he was a muwahhid he was a person that believed in the oneness of Allah he didn't only worship one Allah but he invited the people towards one Allah can i make dua of maghfirat for him can i ask allah taala for forgiveness on his behalf nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam said yes as though he was making an exception he said your father will get, will rise on the day of qiyama as a single unit a single person like a single nation because of his tawhid then we find another person waraqa bin nawfal radiyallahu ta'ala anhu this waraqa bin nawfal that testified and confirmed the nubuwwat of nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam he didn't only bring iman in nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam but before the coming of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he also invited the people towards tawhid and the oneness of allah tabaraka wa ta'ala so the gist of the ayat is that allah tabaraka wa ta'ala is saying here that there was no warner that had come to the people of makkah mukarrama years centuries thousands of years had passed when there was no one they had no perception of right from wrong and this daunting task was now conferred upon nabi karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam had fulfilled this task for for excellence may allah tabarak wa taala give us the tawfiq subhanallah wa bihamdi subhanakallah wa bihamdik nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik